Hi, my name is Jeffrey Abbott, and do you know how to properly prepare yourself for a hurricane? I have extensive knowledge of hurricane survival and the preparation that is required to have a comfortable and safe hurricane experience. I have also first-hand experience what it is like preparing for a hurricane, as I have lived through some. Today, I will inform you all how to prepare for a hurricane, including the necessary food and water, supplies and equipment, and some safety tips and tricks that will help you all have a safe and comfortable hurricane experience. Having the correct food and water supplies are essential when preparing for a disaster. First, make sure to have at least three cases of water, which should contain around 120 water bottles. Water is essential for your body to function. Therefore, it is imperative to buy enough water in case you are shut in your house for a while. Be sure to go to a store as soon as possible because there will be a rush of people buying water and other essential goods in bulk. Having your water go off because of an unexpected accident during a hurricane doesn't mean you're without water. Buying that extra case of water can have many uses such as making a bath, making food, and washing your hands. Fill a bucket with some water for your extra from your extra case and use that for taking your shower and washing your hands. For food, be sure to stock up on non-perishable goods. Such foods include canned goods, crackers, and jerky. Having an emergency food supplies at, at all times is really best, but if you don't, just head to your grocery store and get some that is within your budget. Now that you have the correct food and water supplies, you're going to have to get the right supplies and equipment. Having the right supplies and equipment when preparing for a hurricane can make your experience safer. Having the right supplies, such as a generator, can keep your house better prepared for the hurricane storm in case your power goes out. Having a generator is great during a hurricane season because even if your power goes out, you would have a way to turn your electricity back on. Generators do need gasoline, so having a gallon tank of gas will be essential. Another essential will be sandbags. Sandbags are essential for blocking out water from getting inside your home. It can protect you from property damage. Sandbags can be bought at Lowe's or your lo local Lowe's or online. Another essential good would be a flashlight or a candle. Having flashlights is essential because if you can't afford a generator, the extra source of light is great to maneuver around your home. If you don't have a flashlight, candles would work. Now that you have the necessary supplies, some tips and tricks that might help you feel more comfortable in a hurricane. Entertainment. Entertainment is essential because if your power goes out and you don't have any battery on your phone or tablet, have a game to, having a game to play to pass the time is good. A, game, a good game to play in a hurricane would be Go Fish. It's a classic and I highly recommend it. Another way to pass the time would be to read a book. Doesn't matter what kind of book, though I would recommend The Godfather. In case of raging winds, cover up your windows. Your windows might need to be covered by a sheet or a blanket in case your windows shatter from the wind blowing in rocks. In case, in the case that your house floods and you have a second story, please move upstairs with the, all the essential goods. These essential goods include your flashlight, food and water, and maybe a blanket in case you get cold. Now, to sum it all up, I have briefed you all on how to properly prepare for your first hurricane. Please be sure to get all the necessary goods before a hurricane comes. These necessary goods include flashlights, food and water, and maybe some board games. Please do not risk going outside in dangerous weather. Be prepared and stay safe.